We are with Stanford coach Conrad Ray, and uh, Conrad, we're at the University of Illinois Olympia Fields Invitational, and this is a pretty special place, isn't it? It is. It's a it's a phenomenal test of golf. Um, you know, having it be the site of the U.S. Amateur this summer, and just a few just a few weeks removed from that, the golf course is in just fantastic shape. Um, it's going to be a real test for these guys, and with the breeze blowing and the greens fast, it's all that a, a guy wants. And it'll be fun to test our guys this time of year to see how they they uh, weathered the summer, and and uh, we're looking forward to to seeing them compete. And this is your first event out of the gate, so uh, what are you looking for out of your team? Well, we've, we're excited. I think uh, we've got a young team, really, really relatively. Uh, we've got one senior on the trip, uh, three sophomores in the lineup this week. Um, and so we're, we're looking forward to seeing what, what they can do. Um, all of our guys had nice summers uh, in their amateur schedules. And, um, you know, I think for us it's just a matter of, you know, hitting solid shots and, you know, really playing smart golf around a very challenging golf course and seeing what happens. Besides being the head golf coach at Stanford, you're also the president of the GCAA, which is the umbrella over all the golf coaches. It's the association for them. Tell us a little bit about the life of being the president when you're on the <laughs> road and around other coaches and what kind of things happen for you. Well, it's been, it's been an honor to really hold that position with the Golf Coach Association of America. Um, you know, represents all of the, the coaches across all divisions. Um, and there's a lot of really, it's a member-run organization. Um, and it's a volunteer organization, and, and it's something that I think the coaches appreciate the fellowship and, and just the general uh, work that we try and do for coaches and improving the craft. And, and uh, you know, we, we run a big annual convention every year that we're looking forward to in December. Um, and, you know, we really look out uh, for some of those, those details uh, in the college game that no one else really maybe can see or know about, all American awards and, and uh, different coaching elements. And so we're excited about uh, the association and where it's going. I would say, too, that we're always on the recruiting side. We're trying to make sure that all of uh, the coaches that are eligible to sign up to be part of the GCAA um, do that. And, uh, you know, they're well represented at the, at the national level. So um, it has been an honor, and it's fun to always talk about the current events and the hot issues with coaches uh, while we're on the road. And, and like you said earlier, there are, there are, are always things popping up and, and uh, things to talk about for sure. I would imagine you're a popular guy after hours. Coaches want to have a just a. Can I just have 30 seconds with you, Conrad? <laughs> you probably hear that a lot. Well, I, I, I enjoy listening to him. I don't know if I can solve any of the problems, but we've really got a qualified board, and our executive director, Greg Gross, is an old college golf coach, and it's really his heart and passion, too, to run the association and his staff. And um, so it's neat to talk about those events. And, you know, there are some things that we can talk about and organize around as far as coaching goes and, and uh, liaison with the uh, NC2A in a, in a time right now when things are uh, changing quite a bit. And uh, student welfare is a hot topic and, and our championship is a hot topic. And so there's always things to talk about, that's for sure. Okay, well, good luck this week. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate you being here. Okay.